this is example 4. Example 4 is similar to example 3. However, in this particular case, this 3x3 three three matrix is not diagonalizable, even though it has the same actually characteristic equation as example 3. Now let's go through. First, given A, to find whether a matrix is diagonalizable, first we determine the characteristic equation, find the determinant of the characteristic equation. And in this case, page 21 compared to page 18, the characteristic equation is identical, showing us that lambda equals to 1, lambda equals to minus 2 are also the eigenvalues of this matrix in page 21. Now, we then go on and find the eigenvectors for lambda equals to 1. We can find the basis of it. The eigenspace for lambda equals to 1 is this. For lambda equals to minus 2, interestingly, we can only find one eigenvector even though the eigenvalue is repeated. So, the algebraic multiplicity for the eigenvalue of minus 2 is 2, but the geometric multiplicity the number of argon, the number of vectors in the argon space for lambda equals to minus two is only one. What it means is that the geometric multiplicity is less than algebraic multiplicity for argon value equals to minus two. Hence, we cannot find a complete basis. That is, we cannot form p equals to v one and v two. There is no v three. There is no V3, there is no independent eigenvector that, is, uh, that can be found. Since P has no independent eigenvector for V3, then P is not invertible. Now, if you ask MATLAB to do this, he will also produce a P. So, what is the third eigenvector? Well, let's see. This is A as before. Using EIG, we get P of D. So this is V1, this is V2, and this is V3. Notice that, in fact, it produces exactly the same eigenvector. So V2 and V3 returns the same. What about D? D is 1, minus 2, and minus 2. Notice that uh, it generates complex because of some numerical instability uh, trying to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Since obviously P has dependent columns in column 2 and column 3, P is not invertible. Okay, so that ends our discussion for uh, similarity and diagonalization. So this is a very big topic. You can watch Trevor Buzzard as well as Strang discussing this. So strength discusses this in two lectures and finally we'll go into using the diagonalization uh, when we see the powers of E. Thank you.